Hello guys, Christian here. Today let's talk about Chemox chamfer machining. Some users report that Chemox chamfer machining might be a little bit hard, but today I want to show you how easy it is to work in chamfer machining. You can use my settings in, for your parts in order to get, to get a good chamfer machining operation. So, I prepare for you a simple part with a uh, Two or, four, or a chamfer 2 mm or 45 degrees on the exterior and on the interior. I recommend you to use my settings and save your reparation plan for different types of chamfers and later on use it on your parts. So, for my as a feature, of course, for the exterior, I will define uh, a rectangular boss from here to here with a side taper of 45 degrees this is my feature and for interior a pocket which will start from here to here with a side taper of 45 but will taper outward okay so for this I will generate a contour mill And I will use a countersink tool for my chamfer. So, tool crib from library, hit press add, tool type countersink, use one of them, selected. Right now, go to contour tab, check the chamfer machining, and please take a look at this photo. In chamfer machining, you have three parameters which are very important the angle this is the angle of the chamfer the length of the chamfer and the clearance of the chamfer beside these three parameters you will also have a feature edge which has two options and which are apex or outer edge and these parameters defines whether the geometry in the feature is to the apex of the chamfer or to outer edge of the chamfer. This means this apex and outer edge. For this example, I will use outer edge. So the length of the of the chamfer is two. Clearance, I don't need it. Right here, you will give a warning. And uh, th this message tells you about the resultant chamfer length will be zero with this with this uh, uh, setting. So I will use here zero two. I didn't check if the diameter of the total angle of the of the countersink is 90, which is good. So feature edge, outer edge, and press OK. Generate. Step through tool pack, and this is the chamfer machining for the exterior. For the interior, a rectangular pocket, the same operation, the same tool. The same settings of course as I told you in the in the beginning save your operation plan with different dimensions of chamfer and use it later let's simulate the first exterior chamfer and the second interior chamfer with this one. Use, the, use these settings on, on your chamfer and this will be very useful to you. I want to show you another trick. If you want to, if you have a chamfer only on this side, let's assume you have only on this side. So I will define an open profile from here to here with a taper of course of 
45 generate a contour with the same tool of course check the chamfer machining then to an outer edge okay generate so right now it goes from here to here but if you have something here and you cannot do the chamfer machining and you need to cut the toolpath with some value how can you do this very easily go back to contour mill go to lead in and the lead out it's parallel and you you use the lead overlap as you can see right now it's not it the toolpath is less so you you can also use a lead in parallel lead out parallel move combined and you will have also a movement with uh, with in, uh, outside of the part but right now i want to show you that this chamfer it stops here and then go goes back use these settings if you have any questions feel free to use my linkedin profile my youtube channel thank you for watching bye